and we saw a few turtles too. Uh, yes, 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 yes. On uh, crossing the road. Exactly, the, yeah. the leopard turtle. Yeah, the leopard turtle, yeah. yes. yes. Incredible, yes. It's my first time in my life. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. In the wild. Good morning, yeah. Mr. Musonda. Good morning, Peter. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. It's a beautiful place here. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I hope you are enjoying your stay at Mafuji. Yes, yes. Beste mensen, we zijn in Mafuji Lodge met Mr. Masunda, de eigenaar en oprichter. Ja, hier bent Mr. Masunda, de yeah. owner en de starter van this beautiful lodge. Yes, please. In Zambia. Yes. Along the Kafue National River. Yes. And the Kafue River. Yes. The Kafue National Park. And uh, my question is. How do you start and special why do you start a lodge? Because normally in our feeling mm -hmm. in Europe, a white people, white couple, they start a, a lodge and they ask yeah. family and friends and later other people to come to Zambia. But you as a as a owner and a, and a black person, yes. hey, I cannot. Yes, <laughs> yeah, sure. What's, what is the, the reason you start this? Uh, Mafuzi Lodge. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you very much, Doctor Peter, for for the question. And you are not the first one to ask me this question. Everyone asks this question. Okay. Yeah, and I want to agree with you that um, even here in Zambia, uh, everyone thinks that um, the tourism sector, the tour operation, the safari business, is owned uh, predominantly by the people from the Western world, and uh, in it's in the foreign you know hands. Yes. Yeah, but that's not what it is. Um, there is nothing that stops anyone from investing into this this business. Uh, whether you are Zambian, you are an international from Netherlands, you can do it. The law is there and there's nothing that stops you. What is important is to just have the passion, the zeal and the determination. So for me, it was about the passion that I've had for safari business. And it's not the first time that I'm in this sector. I'm already in the business of hospitality. As you're aware, I'm, I'm running some lodges in Osaka. So more more hotels. Uh, exactly. It's not a lodge, lodge in, in the nature, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's more in the city, an area where you, people can stay. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, obviously, this is a build up of, of what you already do. So for me, it is about the passion, the love for nature, the love for wildlife and you know even when i was growing up i used to love this business i used to like it and it's now time for me to do it and uh, so far so good and uh, yeah it's it's been great it's been great and even having you in in Mwafushi, it's fantastic yes yes yeah, yeah. Uh, i can tell you uh, i was involved in puku pen uh, lodge not far away from here but it's now temporarily not uh, not oh, in the sure, market sure sure so you're more or less neighbors so we are here to stay in this beautiful place and visit Puku Pen and see the animals in the Kafue National Park. Yes. Because what animals can you see here? Yes, um, first and foremost, the Kafue National Park is, is a vast and big national park. It is actually the second largest national park in Africa. You're, you're incredible. Yes, yes, and it's got abundant wildlife. You can see almost every animal except a giraffe and a rhino. Yeah. All the animals you can see them. For example, you've got a high chance of seeing cats, lions, leopards, even within camp if you're like if you're lucky. You can see elephants, you can see crocodiles in the river, you can see hippos, you can see buffaloes, wild dogs, all types of antelopes, pukus, uh, impalas, kudus and everything. So Kafio National Park, you can literally see anything that you wish to see in the wildlife. Yeah, we were there yesterday. We saw a lot of birds too. Uh, yes, the, yes. Eagles, the, the bedding life is also good. I think you saw some beds. You saw the yeah. marabou stock. You saw the open build stock. Exactly. So even beds are plenty. And we saw a few turtles too. Uh, yes, 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 yes. On uh, crossing the road. Exactly. The, yeah. the leopard turtle. Yeah, leopard turtle. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Incredible. So yes. It's my first time in my life. It, oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. That's good. In the wild, I've seen them in the. You saw also. You saw the wild pig. That is quite rare. Yeah. Very few people, I for one, have seen them for the first time in the last two years of operation here at Mwafushi. I saw the wild pig, the big number. That was quite fantastic. So in Cafe National Park, you are guaranteed to see all animals that you wish to see. I want to quickly mention that it's a park 
it's authentic. Yeah, yeah. It's authentic. It's pure natural. It's not the soup for me. Yeah, <laughs> I have to make it clear. It is real fish. nature. Real nature. You've got to move into the bush and search for animals, and you have eighty percent chance of seeing wild cats like lions. That's so, incredible. Sure. When I was in the lodge, I mean, now for a few days, I see many uh, local people. Eh? Yes. We will say Zambians, and then uh, of course uh, the many. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry for the word black black yes, people. I'm not fine. sure how you, you yeah, say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real Zambians. Yes, the ind <laughs> citizens, indigenous Zambians. Uh, yes. Um. There, there's uh, other lodges you mostly white people. What's what's your p policy there? Right <laughs> okay. Um. As you are aware, uh, I had a discussion with you before the interview. Is that you know. Mwafish Safari was born during COVID. During COVID, at, at yes. At the time when we revised the COVID, I think we started constructing this place when we had a second wave, which really ravaged our economy and our lives. And then we opened even before COVID vanished. Yes. So the idea was initially was to promote local tourism. Yes. And just ensure that, you know, we expose Zambians, locals to the world like this, which is quite new for them. And we only had to address two things. One, there was an issue of affordability. There was also an issue the of price. Yes, the price. price sorry, and yeah, also yeah. the rate, the accessibility.